Greetings from Revealing the Hidden. Today we are going to discuss another trending topic whether to tie the knot or no. Because this is one of the question frequently asked by youngsters, especially the youngsters I will call the men, why we need to get married. So today we are going to discuss this particular topic and we have a brother Bonifer and Digari to discuss this. So morning, welcome to this session. So today we are going to discuss whether to marry or not. And we both are the right people to speak because you are in the side not married and I'm a person who's married. So I think we can have a good discussion. Yes. According to you, what is marriage one? So first and foremost, thank you again for having me. And uh, I would say marriage in a simple sentence is it is created by God for man. Thank and you. it is not that the way how I would look at marriage is not how people describe it in terms of it's a bond between two people it's, it's you know soulmate bond or this or that i would say it's a part of creation right. it's a part where god has created it for us to choose to surrender ourselves to somebody else as a legal uh, partner uh, or spouse as we call to again go back and serve god so in the sense it it served the purpose of why we are created and it served the purpose of creating uh, serving our creator so for me, that is marriage. Yeah, rightly said, Bonnie. You spoke from a godly aspect. If we talk about a manly perspective also, it is the order of a society. Mm. Because we cannot work without an order in a public because the population is huge. Or number of people are huge. That's why laws and regulations are there to bring a control, to bring a regularity. For this, the marriage is coming with the way uh, a person is having a birth or someone is having a child or someone is born in this world there is an order yes. then go to school then go to work then getting married having children there is an order to be followed for every human being so as you said from an upper aspect i'm talking from a manly aspect that marriage is something it is given to it is the freedom of choice for each and everyone Correct. Choosing it to take or no is my own yes. personal decision. Yes. But marriage is a part of the society and it's an order to be continued in the society. Correct. So the next question to you, Bonnie, is should we need to get married or no? Because this is a big chaos nowadays. Anxious are really having because of so many incidents what is happening in the society. So what is the opinion of yours? I think it's a valid question and as we already spoke, marriage is a choice for everybody. But I think it's a choice that our creator gives us. Right. And if you look at it from the natural perspective, also, you know, in the animal kingdom, and we as social animals also uh, draw a lot of uh, relationship and understanding and behaviors from, from there. So marriage between two, and two, two people, uh, a man and a woman, was created by God. And the way how I see it is, when two people come in in in, in bond with, with 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 marriage it is not by their own selves it is it is how uh, god almighty or you know the higher power brings them close because in every kind of marriage if you see there are not two people there are three people right there are three people and the first is the man the second is the woman and the third is a authority that authority right. could be a spiritual authority or it could be a legal authority right. In all religions, we have a spiritual authority, uh, you know, uh, res regarding the re uh, religion that they are getting married uh, in, and or, or if they are not getting married from a religious perspective, then in the legal scenario, you have you have a lawyer who's, you know, through his legal authority that he has been bestowed on, he gets these two people wedded as husband and wife. So we always see that marriage is is created or joined between two people under authority. Right. So for me, that gives a lot of value to a person because you are not going and you know buying something from the market. You are actually joining yourself from very different aspects to another person under a covering, right. under an authority. 
now each one has their own choice so each one can choose to get joined under that authority or not but at the same time we always we also know that when 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 we join under authority with something like a commitment there is responsibility there is a kind of relationship there is reciprocation and there is also a resonance in terms of understanding without speaking without you know words you kind of sense what the other person may need or the other person may sense you without you kind of calling it out mm. so those kind of things get built up between these two people and that is something that is beautiful in itself like just like how we have birth which is beautiful you know a, a you carry a baby your baby in your arms that's a beautiful experience at the same time marriage is also on that you know it's like a beautiful experience for someone to have so you rightly said born regarding that regarding the opinion that we should get married when i am for the marriage i am i'm obviously married and i always support marriage because it is a covenant for us to our death mm. see for me whatever you said in addition to that i would like to say that the youngsters in their in their what hot blooded time they think that they can live alone mm. so that i'm not denying that you can live alone but as days goes by there is a loneliness will follow you because your friends may change your career may change whatever you gain by the end when you turn back to your own personal life you can feel a vacuum in that correct so that can be what avoided when you are in the covenant of marriage now the option is live in relationship people taking because mm. they don't want to take the responsibility that is something with my take on how to take responsibility when i'm matured i take responsibility if now means if i'm not married at the age of 20 21 22 i just want to roam around i just want to have fun this is only in my head i don't want to be matured because mm. maturity has something to do with taking the responsibility that is also the choice of that person because but one after an age you will not enjoy the life the way you enjoyed mm. during the time of marriage when you thought of not getting married okay. as days goes by it can change then the then the next point i would like to highlight for the need of marriage is we are not that super heroes as days goes by yeah. we'll become weak and some kind of disability can come to us where our parents may not be there with us maybe um i will be a burden for my siblings mm. so i have someone with me or to speak that i have someone to take care of me so that is more to speak about a marriage mm. so i think these are some of the points we can add on why i need to get married now i know n number of people telling they don't want to get married one there is a social pressure that is from the parents from the neighbors from the people and I all will ask you why are you not getting married why are you not getting married this is actually an insult for them mm-hmm. so uh, i when I, i never ask anyone but when people ask i always think that why should i suffer you also suffer <laughs> <laughs> come to this side that's the way yeah. people are asking that question there's no need to ask that question actually a youngster who's not married or not getting any good alliance mm-hmm. actually by getting that question actually they feel embarrassed or they think why they are asking mm-hmm. like that so this can be a reason i am not against them but understand there is a pattern to be followed that way public is asking once you get married the next question is when i going to have the children yeah. so we cannot stop anyone to ask you this questions and some people think that marriage is meant for sexual relationship so again i have youngsters to ask me to have a sexual relationship why should i get married mm. so I, i would say the there is a consequences for uh, for a sexual relationship with it's outside the outside marriage, marriage. coming and you will get it mm. once days goes by you will get it or as you getting older you will understand what is the what consequences what you are going to be affected without a without marriage what is going to happen so i would say we we already told what are the what good points of marriage if you cannot take it or if you don't want to take the responsibility of thinking it's a burden mm. then we cannot help them but from the majority of the point on our forefathers 
the the human kind is not stuck yesterday is there for a long time if our parents have also thought about us we will not yes. come in this world Correct. so that is another part we should not stop our generation to be what what to to come to a dead end mm. because of my decision not mm. to get married so i think with this we have covered why i need to get married mm. or should i get married or should i not get Correct. married Correct. so i think we had explain well for this particular question so we had come up with the very two important questions that we are answering the questions of so many youngsters what is marriage because they are not knowing what is marriage and why i need to get married it's not because my parents are telling me to get married it's not because my friends are getting married and putting the photos in the social media i need to get married why i should get married is the actual facts we had put it in now we are coming up with the next session on the same questions what are the hindrances that youngsters have to get married till we see next time stay safe and stay happy thank you